Good morning, my friends. Today is Thursday, August 8th. It is Thursday of the 18th week in Ordinary Time, and it's the memorial of St. Dominic. Um, just to get a reminder, B form starts September 11th, goes to December 9th. Uh, deadline to order a workbook is August 19th. Um, you can still register up until September 11th if you'd like to participate. The earlier the better so we can get you into a, a small group. And yes, if you're outside the area, you can join a, a group that's virtual or you can get a group of friends together where you live and form a BFORM group. Um, it's very flexible and uh, adaptable to your situation. So who is St. Dominic? So he lived from 1170 to 1221 AD. And there's a great story. If you ever see a dog with a torch coming out of its mouth, uh, it often represents St. Dominic because his mother, who is now blessed, Joan Diazza, had a, had a vision, had a dream that uh, this dog with the torch in its mouth was running through this dry field. And as the, the dog ran through the field, the flames started to spread in every direction. And working with her spiritual director with this vision, uh, her spiritual director helped her determine that this was the vocation of her son, that through his preaching the word of God, he would spread the fire of God's word and God's love through uh, a world that was, that was dry, that was thirsting for God's word. And of course, Dominic ends up becoming a priest and he starts the Dominican order. They're the order of preachers. They preach the word of God uh, powerfully into the world. So we pray for all the Dominicans out there, all of those named Dominic today. We pray for his intercession that we can be, um, that we can speak the word of God boldly as well. We look at the gospel today. Uh, we have been to this place in the, in the Holy Land and we pray for peace in the Holy Land so that we can, not so that we can get there, but uh, so that people in that area can live in peace and we can go visit these holy sites. Caesarea Philippi, northern uh, Israel, and Jesus is asking a question that we all need to answer. Who do people say that I am? Some say you're John the Baptist, uh, Elijah, Jeremiah, one of the prophets. But he says, but who do you say that I am? And, and if Jesus asked you the question, how would you answer? Peter speaks up and he says, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus says, you know, no human being told you that. That was uh, my heavenly father who taught you that I am the Christ, the Messiah, the anointed one, the son of the living God. And he says, you are Peter. And upon this rock, and this is a big rock formation where Jesus said this, upon this rock, I will build my church. And so this is what we believe is the primacy of Peter as the first pope. And the pope in the world is the first among many. So the pope is a bishop. So bishops, archbishops, cardinals, the pope, they are all bishops. And the pope is the first among equals. So the bishop of Rome is that primary place among the bishops around the world. Just like Peter was one of the 12 apostles, but Jesus gave him the primary spot. And you see that in scripture, how Peter takes the lead. And, uh, and then Jesus says, I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. This is important because if you go back to the Old Testament, they would give the keys to the prime minister. So when uh, King David was leaving, uh, I believe it was Eliakim was his prime minister, and he put the keys to the kingdom on his shoulders, like to say, when I'm, when I'm gone, you're in charge here. And so Jesus, by saying to Peter, when I'm gone, you're in charge. Here's the keys uh, to the authority to, to lead my church. And it's also the foundation of reconciliation. He says, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So Jesus was giving authority to his disciples and to priests, priests throughout the centuries that when you forgive sins in my name, they will be forgiven. When you hold the people bound, uh, they will be bound in heaven as well. And so this is not something that I take lightly as a priest. Um, I'm also a penitent. I'm a sinner that I go to confession and I really realize the great mercy of God. And as a priest, it's a great privilege to see God's forgiveness at work. And then Jesus says, I must go to Jerusalem where I will suffer greatly 
and will be killed and on the third day be raised. And Peter, who has just been named the rock, says, you know, God forbid, Lord, no such thing shall ever happen to you. And Jesus says, get behind me, Satan, for you are an obstacle to me. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. Jesus was not calling Peter Satan, but Satan gets in the way of the Lord's uh, goals. And Jesus knew that it was through his passion, death, and resurrection that he would save the world. And so he's teaching Peter that you have to follow my way, not the way that uh, human beings follow. So Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your son Jesus. We thank you for St. Dominic and all the saints. Help us to, to believe, to follow, to seek your mercy, and to trust in your path. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. Tune to your families. Buen Camino, and God bless you.